Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing a few short videos as the Lord has laid it on my heart and it's going to be called who they become, who they become. And they're going to be different scenarios that as the Lord places it in my heart, I will share with you guys. Um, so I want you to realize that circumstances and situation are going to show you who you are. Okay. First and foremost, when we're going through trials and tribulations, you're going to see who you become during those times. Now, granted, we can feel frustrated. We can feel angry. We can feel hurt. These are natural things that you will feel. However, depending on how rooted you are in the Lord is really going to be the deciding factor in whether it's going to be able to keep you, even when things around you seem as if it's going, you know, it's, it's chaotic, you will still be able to maintain the peace when you're being led by the Holy Spirit. So even though you may feel fear, you may feel upset, you may feel um, certain things, be, when you're being led by the Lord, there's certain lines and boundaries that you're just not going to cross, certain things you're just not going to do. And then if by chance you just get to the, this place where you did get out of character, you're, you won't stay there because the Holy Spirit, you're going to feel that conviction. You're going to feel the pull, the tug of the Holy Spirit upon your heart. And you're going to be inclined to go back, you know, into that secret place with the Lord, repent and get things right and do what is necessary, you know, to build trust again, to um, repair any breaches. You know, the very least you're saying, I'm sorry or forgive me and learning from it, right? So the first thing we're going to talk about who they become after the breakup or during the breakup. Whenever you are no longer in a relationship with someone, sometimes it's just you're no longer dating, you're no longer engaged, and unfortunately, in some cases, you are no longer married. Who they become during that time is very crucial and it's going to tell you a lot about that person. Sometimes you're going to realize why, why God was pulling you from the relationship. And times you're going to, um, you're going to see what's always been hidden. When someone feel, when someone, sometimes you have people when they realize and see that they are no longer going to benefit from the relationship, the relationship is completely ended then sometimes they can be very ugly. They can be very ugly in how they deal with you. And sometimes you can even be that way. There are times, guys, in relationships, you know, especially when you're not allowing the Lord to lead or you have not been obedient to him, you can act unseemly and out of character, been there, done that. But the thing about that is, guys, you still have to be able to hear the voice of God to call you back to base, call you back to him where you can get before him, seek repentance and change and be restored, okay, in his presence and being in a place where you can admit your faults, apologize, move on and forgive. At times, guys, you may see it. You see the other person, they become very nasty, okay? They will say and do things that you did not expect or see coming, they may do and say things you did not expect them to say and do. Sometimes they go on a smear campaign with your name. Sometimes they know they may have done some things that were wrong, but they will turn that was wrong, but they'll turn it all around and say that it was you. You may see that perhaps they're no longer taking care of their responsibilities. You know, if you guys were married and you guys unfortunately are separating or divorcing, you see how that person may lie about their income or literally quit their jobs because they don't want to take responsibility for their children, stop seeing their children. You may find where you may be the person, you have the children, and sometimes your anger will cause you to mistreat your children because now there's a breakup and things are not as it would be. Perhaps this, you're not even married to this person, but you thought the baby and having a child would have brought y'all together. And when it doesn't, now you begin to mistreat the child. There are lots of scenarios, guys. But when you see the ugliness, when you see the things that they are doing, when they are taking back every gift they've ever given to you, and you're doing the same, whatever it may be, 
when they are, as I said, they just become, you see that they're no longer respectful. They're no longer responsible. They're no longer being accountable. Let's say if you guys shared a home together, they're leaving you with a mortgage before you guys have even separated properly. And sometimes you may have just lived together. That should not have happened. But if there were bills, you were in the window and the cycle for bills to be paid, they will leave and not take care of that and not even think about it. My brothers and sisters, this is a character thing. When they're like, oh, well, that's your problem. If you took out loans together, if you did things to help them, oh, you know, financially, and they were supposed to pay you back, they're not going to pay you back. Oh, well, you shouldn't have got a loan. Oh, well, you shouldn't have gave me the money because you have no way to prove that it's a loan. You'll find that will happen if you shared accounts, how nasty they will get when it's time to separate those accounts or to, you know, to split the money. So when there is an, where, when there are disagreements and when the elements have changed, a relationship has changed and you, you see how they are, my brothers and sisters, I want you, I want you to take that as gems. These are valuable, valuable gems. At the time, you may not see it as a gem. We may not see it that time, but it sees, it shows you who they are. And you will realize why God has kept you and why God allowed this relationship to end. Because however this person was acting. Imagine if you had married them, this may have been someone that you were just dating or you were engaged to and you see this nastiness in them, right? So then imagine you're seeing this now, when you married them, you would have seen this in, in, an, in an exponential capacity. The nastiness that they're doing in a marriage, you've probably seen it before, but you never knew what they would do when, when things are changing. They can morph and completely transform into something even more uglier. And one of the things, guys, no matter what we're going through in our lives, if we are children of God, while we we are we are capable of having natural human reactions, when you have the, the Holy Spirit within you, when you say that you are a child of God, there's a certain there's a certain standard of behavior we must have. There should be something in your heart that brings you back to base, okay? When you are acting unseemly, you should be able to hear the voice of God telling you, hey, you're going too far. You should not do that. You need to apologize. You need to do the right thing. But you'll find that there's a lot of people, they will override the voice of God and they go right along with their flesh and with what they're feeling at the time. And so we all have to look at that. How do you react when you're angry, when you're mad, when you're hurt, when you feel cornered? You know, are you still looking to God or are you doing things your own way? And so that's just something, guys, that you have to look at. Sometimes they'll go and they'll tell people things about you and they'll say things about you. That's not true. Okay, when there's a breakup, if they know that they've done some things in the relationship in the era of fidelity, they're going to turn it. They're going to turn the, they will turn the tables. They may say you cheated when you did not. They may say, oh, you were so horrible and you, it, the relationship was so stressful when it was not. You know, sometimes if there were any issues in the relationship, it may have been because of the things that continue to raise their head in the relationship, but they will turn it around to justify why they did certain things. And when those things happen, do not be inclined to tell your story. It's just in my heart to tell you, you don't have to tell your side of the story. Now, sometimes, you know, with, you know, maybe those very, very close to you, like your mom and dad, as you're led by the Lord, you may tell them what happened and you can do that. You're not wrong to speak to your family, you know, about certain things, but you're not on the smear campaign. And once it's over and done with, you are not re-engaging in that. So when those things are going on, my brothers and sisters, keep your peace, hold your peace. And what we always have to learn in everything is that we're still growing in the Lord. And a good way to see where people are at and who they are is how they act after and during the breakup. And when you see those things, guys, be thankful for those gems that the Lord has given to you, the realization, the self-realizations as well. And then you just get in the presence of the Lord and allow him to continue to build you, to teach you, okay, so that you will make better decisions in the future. And then even in your own reactions, 
you'll be more you'll be more inclined guys to instead of reacting in the flesh that you're going to take heed and you're going to hear the spirit of the lord and you're going to follow his guidance all right guys peace